So there's a couple different ways to form this pipe. Um, if you have soft enough material, you can just roll it on this pipe and that's what we're gonna show you now. Or you can put this in the brake and do a lot of little bends to where you can turn it into a uh, more of a pipe. But we're just gonna go ahead and roll it and just form it by hand. Also, there's a uh, tool called a slip roll, which I don't have, um, but you can put it in that and that would do a very nice job um, forming this pipe jack. And this is just an old um, galvanized pipe that came off of a, a house that I saved. That's all you need. PVC is probably a little light to do this with. I'm just going to show you how you can do this with little to no equipment. So now it's hooking together. It's nice to have a nice pair of little pliers. We got a little small dead below hammer. So you can do it that way. If you have a swage, you can swage it, but I don't think that really does a whole lot of good here in this circumstance. Um, a lot of times you have to clean this up. You can see that's sticking down a little bit and I'm gonna cut that off. And then we're gonna set it down. Make sure it's sitting flat. And it looks a little open here on the back. So I'm just gonna keep consistent pressure on this. And I'm gonna just run the marker along the workbench. And that'll take out any high or low spots and make it all consistent. What you, what you can do is um, caulk the inside here just to seal it up. It's not going to hurt. That way you don't have any caulk on the outside. If water gets in, it's got a place to go. So when I do caulk these down if, after it's fitted, and you can double seam these in too, not the easiest thing. Um, but uh, always leave a little space out the bottom for a weep hole. And always remember your pipe needs to be engaged and this needs to go over top the pipe so the water doesn't roll down the side um, and that's about it.